Squiggy's hungry. Squiggy. I'll pull her back. Isn't that neat? Quick before she bites your finger off. Yeah. How are you, Kevin? You should have Stay here. Stay out of people's way. That one's getting away. I'm not going to do it because I'm a little afraid. That one. It's a small world. Have one more time. Just touch your mouth, touch your mouth. They're salamanders. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one more try, one more try. I am not doing it. You already did it once. You did a good job. I do not want to do it to that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's feed one more. Who wants to feed us? No, there we go. We got a nice great kid. Oh, yeah. He said this is working perfectly. Yeah. You're a whopper. Oh, holy cow. Whopper? That one might not eat. He's a little wild yet. Whoa! He wanted it. That'll be his first meal in public. I just caught him last week. Yeah, good job. Okay, these are tiger salamanders. Then we have. Six other species in Wisconsin, and most of those are called woodland salamanders. Woodland, because they live in the woods. We have one that looks like the tiger, but I think it's more beautiful. It's called the spotted salamander. Oh, that's how big they get. I have seen that one What's of that. What's the small? How, how small do they get? You got that one. Babies. They get very small. They're like a little larva. Looks like a tadpole. I've never spring. seen that one before, but it's all the way. Here's one of my favorites. This is the most the common oh, salamander. I, I have not seen that one This is a classic woodland salamander Good called job. the blue spotted salamander. Good job. Oh, wow. They will have a so pretty. And then we have a newt which is a salamander. It's called the Central Newt. And those are found around here. Really small. I like the blue one. How do you find that? I like that yellow one. <laughs> if you want to find amphibians, and these make really easy pets to take care of. You feed them a worm or a minnow. I feed a lot, a lot of minnows. Oh my gosh, that was like getting under his head. This one will eat those two, so we have to keep an eye on them. <laughs> the tiger will eat the other ones? It will eat the new. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Should we see if he'll eat the new? Yeah, no. Here you go. No, I'm kidding. No. That'd be really bad. <laughs> see that little guy? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Colton? But memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when the displays ate each other? <laughs> and we have a four-toed salamander, which is pretty rare. It's found in bog habitats way up in northern Wisconsin. We have a red-back salamander, which lays its eggs on land. And one aquatic salamander called the mud puppy, which you catch in Lake Winnebago and the rivers or in the Wolf River. Mm -hmm. It's actually a part of the salamander family. Oh, oh, predator. And one neat thing about salamanders, <laughs> if they lose a limb, like if a raccoon bites a leg off or the tail, it grows back quickly within a week. Really? And medical scientists have studied that compound that regenerates their limbs. And they've manufactured it in labs, and they use that to grow back human hands and arms. I saw a thing on ABC News about three years ago. This 19-year-old kid from Iraq, he got his hand blown off. And in Cleveland, at the Cleveland Clinic, they were spreading a little paste on his stump to regrow his hand. Using the knowledge they got. Did it work? Yes, it's working. Wow. <laughs> they're very optimistic about it. Why is that one a standing? Anybody want to hold one of these guys? <coughs> Here's how we're going to do it. Just use your hand. No. Hold them over the table so if you drop them, they don't hit the ground. I like it. I get it. When I hold you on, I'm really afraid. And they don't.
one bite. You did? Nope, that's Squiggy. Oh, he might bite him. Put your. Got to hold him over the table, though, if you're going to hold him. Squiggy. Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay, you can hold him. Don't squeeze him hard, though. There you go. Oh, okay. 